Hey, welcome to the Cheeky Vegan Chicks, or should I say the Cheeky Vegan Chick, because my partner is on a cruise. Yay, Ginny. I'm Harmony, and I'm here in my own kitchen today, a little bit of a different setup. And I just wanted to keep our momentum going with our videos while she's away, because we've been getting so much positive feedback that I just can't help myself. So today, I'm going to share with you a recipe that is super easy and super yum. It's cauliflower walnut meat, and it has very few ingredients, and it's very healthy. So let's get nourished. All right, so we're going to start with one fairly small head of cauliflower, and we have two cups of walnuts. And the only other ingredients are smoked paprika and a little bit of soy sauce. I love Nama show you, but you can use tamari or whatever you have on hand. Low, lower sodium, the better. So um, cutting up a cauliflower, first of all, you want to take off the little brown bits if there are any. And then just cut it down the middle. Take out the stem. Always cut away from your hands. And... Uh, there's a little trick to cutting cauliflower that I learned about that I'll share with you in a minute. So you don't have to really cut this up a lot because it's going in the food processor, but if to cut cauliflower, cut almost all the way through one of the florets and then kind of break it apart. And that way you don't get all these little tiny bits. If you were to just chop, 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 you get these little fine bits that you can't do anything with. So I'm going to chop this up roughly and put it in our food processor. Okay, so my food processor is not gigantic, and you wanna make sure that your cauliflower stays in pieces. You don't want it to become mush, so I'm doing only half of the cauliflower at a time. And you can pulse it a little bit if you have a pulser on yours. This is a brawn. I'll put a link in the description below. This guy is a real workhorse. I've had it for years, and I and I just tear it up and it just keeps on going. So if you can see the size of these guys, it's pretty small, but not pulverized into mush. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna pour this out and then put the other half in. Okay. The cauliflower is done, you can see. Next goes our walnuts, these are raw walnuts. And we're gonna do the same thing. Process until just, about the same particle size as the cauliflower. And that looks good. Okay. Pretty perfect. All right, getting there. Okay, so we have our cauliflower and walnuts, and I put it in a nice big bowl to stir it up and combine them. And now I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of Soy sauce, this is Nama Show You, my favorite because it has living organisms and it. it's like a cultured product. So, well, hey, we had a little technical difficulty there. Um, I stirred all this up and it's really good to go now. And we put one tablespoon of Nama Show You or any soy sauce, low sodium soy sauce, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, stir it up, put it on a parchment lined baking sheet, and we're going to bake it at 375 for about a half hour, maybe 40 minutes, and you wanna keep every 10 minutes, you need to babysit this and turn it over and let it get nice and brown, not too brown, but cooked on all sides. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we're back and our cauliflower walnut meat is done. So this guy, this, this took about 45 minutes at 375. You can judge it, you know, your own oven, every oven's different, every head of cauliflower is gonna have more or less moisture, so just judge it when you first start turning it over and stirring it in the beginning, you'll see a lot of moisture coming up. And that's just the moisture cooking off of the cauliflower, which is what you want. You can use this in so many different ways, guys. It's so delicious. I usually make a, a bolognese sauce out of it, which I'm gonna do tonight. We'll have spaghetti bolognese. You can use it for tacos. Just add some Mexican spices in there, spice it up. Um, you could mix it with rice and stuff some bell peppers with it. That's also yummy, I've had it that way. So it's very versatile, it's very delicious, very nutritious, and that's it. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. We're growing our channel. We really appreciate you. And until next time, don't forget, nothing tastes as good as healthy feels.